Hi and welcome to SF Live. I'm your host, Christina Marie Flores. Tonight we're going to be speaking with Ken Henderson. He is the Executive Director of REAF, R-E-A-F, which stands for the Richmond Ermit AIDS Foundation. Welcome. Thank you. Very you said good. that very well. So I did. people stumble over Ermit. Uh, very good. No, I got it. I was practicing before we started. Uh, tell me a little bit about REAF. What is it that you do? Uh, we produce big entertainment events to raise money for all the local AIDS charities. Mm -hmm. And we were founded by two mothers, uh, Barbara Richmond and Peggy Ermit, uh, in honor of their sons, who they both lost to AIDS, as a way to honor both honor their sons and also help support the kind of agencies that took care of them. Mm -hmm. Now, they, they were friends? Lifelong friends. They uh -huh. were both, their parents were friends before they were born. That's how far back they go. Native San Franciscans, mm -hmm. and uh, throughout their lives, it just sort of kept their lives kept crossing and uh, they ended up each as one was divorced, one was widowed and so they moved in together and became each other's support systems when their sons were ill and uh, when they were dying and saw them through that and conceived an idea to create something to honor them and that's how we came about. That's very interesting. I wonder there are so many families that have lost sons and daughters uh, to AIDS and most of them don't really think they're powerful to do anything about it and they it's wonderful to see someone I did read in the biography that uh, the son that had passed away his friends were entertainers and in the industry and she said well let's do something about it and see what we can do and they threw the first event the friends of, uh, of her son mm -hmm. and um, made her inspired to create this wonderful foundation. Yeah, it was, mm -hmm. it was um, basically just uh, John Richmond was not an actor or a performer, but he was a behind the scenes kind of guy, did set design, costume design. And uh, when he died in 1990, uh, his friends who were all performers decided to do a benefit mm -hmm. and thought they would continue doing it. You know, they didn't. <laughs> So when uh, Doug Ermett, who was my partner and I's best friend, mm -hmm. was dying, uh, the moms called us and said, uh, we want to do another benefit. Here's what we did for John, now we want to do it for Doug, and we'd like to keep it going, and will you help? And we immediately said, sure. So we signed on and thought we'd do a few of them and it would be over, but 15 years later, wow. we're still doing it. 15 years. 15, yeah. What keeps you going? I know it's a very difficult thing to keep fundraising and, and bringing up, uh, putting together shows like this. What is your motivation for this? Um, it's really all the friends that we lost. Um, mm -hmm. When our friend Doug died, it was he was almost like the last straw for us because we had lost so many friends at that yeah. point. And I remember one night we were uh, sitting at home and it was shortly after Doug's services and we just kind of looked at each other and said, all of our immediate circle of friends had died. And it's like, what do we do now? <laughs> so um, when we started this, we called you know, other friends that we, some of whom we'd sort of lost contact with uh, and sort of created a new little family of friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, that's part of it. It's, we met so many people, we create a new, we call our foundation really a family because we, so many of us have been involved since the beginning and we just keep going and so many of us lost mutual friends that mm -hmm. you know those faces are always there in front of us and in the gay community that is so prevalent um, I noticed though through the city that there is kind of like you you forget about that as much because there's not quite as so many deaths now as there was was during that period of time that people kind of forget about AIDS or maybe they think that there's enough medication now that keeps people alive for a long time that it's not as important is that true or I think that's very true it's um, a lot of people think AIDS is over because there are medications to keep people alive mm -hmm. um, how long that works nobody knows for sure they're very expensive there are lots of people there's still an average of a thousand new infections each year in san francisco a thousand wow yeah mm -hmm. it's continuous san francisco still has the third highest incidence of aids in the country why i mean with condom use and with all the education that we have why is that is it just people that aren't following instructions how they should be yeah there's you know kids think they're invincible mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it'll never get me uh, that old adage of sort of live hard, die young. Uh, yeah, yeah. Die. <laughs> yeah, it's out there. And uh, that's part of it. And also because people think it is over uh, and there is medications, I've talked to a number of, especially younger guys, who say, well, if I get it, 
I just take pills. Mm-hmm. You know, but oh, that's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> well, they don't know how rough those medications are on the body. So. And maybe they haven't seen how someone deteriorates and really, and I had a close friend of 24 that passed away yeah. uh, from AIDS. And to see him go from joyous, bubbly, just vivacious to how it really takes the, the body and just completely pulls all of the, the energy and life force out of someone, you oh, know, yeah. that maybe the young people haven't been, you know, witness to something like that. So otherwise they'd be more cautious, I would think. Yeah. And it's also the populations that it's growing the most in are populations that don't think they're so much at risk. You know, women are, it's growing more in women than men at this point. Oh, really? Yeah, uh -huh. it's, because it's, you know, there's a lot of men who have sex with both men and women. Mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes the women don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, until later, yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah, and there's also because of IV drug use and those kind of things that it just continues to grow. Mm -hmm. And in minority populations, it's still very strong. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, here it says that you have, in 1995 through now, you've raised $2 million for AIDS agencies, in the AIDS service agencies in the right, city. Uh -huh. And this is all through having big events, and is that Yeah, that? we um, actually, you'd mentioned a while back about how we got started, and uh, when... One of the comments Barbara Richmond made when we first started the foundation was uh, she had taken care of not only her son, but a lot of her son's friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we were talking about creating an event like this, she said, you know, I've taken care of too many boys. I can't do it anymore. I want to do something that it's positive and uplifting. Mm -hmm. And since both of the sons loved entertainment and kind of Broadway style shows, that type of thing, mm -hmm. uh, we just chose this as a means to do it. Mm -hmm. And my personal feeling was, if you're going to ask people for money, give them a good time in return. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's a wonderful way to bring it about. Yeah. Yeah. And 100% of the proceeds goes to the beneficiary partners. Right. Wow, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Uh, so you work on a volunteer basis, a lot of the people that work with you. As uh, executive director, I'm the only paid staff of the organization. Uh -huh. And uh, everybody else is volunteer. So you could use volunteers if there's anyone we can out there that use might. volunteers. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what would a volunteer do? Um, volunteers can either work on ongoing committees to help uh, keep the the organization going. Mm -hmm. We have you know for every event that we do, there's usually receptions and parties and things attendant to that. So mm -hmm. we need people to work on you know, food and beverage solicitation. We need people working on site and auction people with show production experience that want to get involved and help in those kind of capacities. Mm -hmm. And then just around the events, we need event volunteers just to come and help staff it, you know. And run, and you have a very large event coming up. Yes. And it's the All You Need Is Love. Okay. Right. How did you come up with that name? <laughs> well, we, to backtrack just a second, we have, we've, for the last nine years, we've had an annual holiday event called Help Us On The Way For The Holidays. Okay. This year, because of the timing of the elections and the economy, we just thought it's not a time to do a, a big gala. Mm -hmm. So we postponed it and decided to do a Valentine's show. Okay. Uh, and then we decided, well, what are we going to call it? Something punchy and nice. And we decided to do a contest. So we put it out to uh, all of our email list and, you know, named that gala. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> we got far more responses than I expected and some of them were like paragraphs long of names so <laughs> oh my god can you remember any off the top of your head that were maybe unusable <laughs> well a lot of them had to do with the cause but it was because the show was our, our annual galas help us on the way and help us on the way for the holidays and people was like help us on the way for Valentine's days to support AIDS and it's like you know That's on and on and <laughs> very on. wordy it's very yes yeah. took up the whole page I said no punchy punchy names should be punchy <laughs> I love that help us on the way all you need is love right. um one of there's a, just a huge list of performers here from every Broadway cabaret stars you have um Rita Moreno yeah is one of them now actually we have a clip of Rita Moreno that we'd like to and she's actually from Berkeley isn't she not is yeah, she, she living? lives in Berkeley uh -huh. she's done a number of our events and I think this clip is from our last summer show okay she did, it was a reenactment of her Tony Award winning performance on Broadway wonderful so why don't we take a look at that set to go Rita Moreno mm-hmm 